another one. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use this flame sensor to create a fire alarm system. Let's now power on this device and see how it works. I will put now a uh, jumper wire so that I can put the 5 volts in this module. Let's now turn on the power supply. As you see, we have a LED indicator that tells us that the, pow that the power is already on the module. Let's now test it by introducing some flame. As you can see, the LED below is turning on when it detects fire. This is not how I want my fire detector to behave. I want it to stay on until I get back so that I can be really sure if the fire is out and whatever damage it, it has. Because if it will not latch, the sensor might turn off. Like if it has an alert, like an LED indicator or the bu buzzer, it will be turned off if the fire is already out. I don't want that. So let's have a circuit that we can add here so that it will latch once it detects fire. This is the circuit that I will add on our flame sensor. This is basically based on my previous circuit that is a relay latching circuit. This one. I will put the link down below on how this works because that is the same on this circuitry. To summarize the parts here, these are the 5 volts relay, PNP general purpose, common ones are the 2N3906 but the one I'm using is an SMD type. The diode 1N4148, an LED, 1 kilo ohm resistor for limiting and then a 5 volts buzzer. Let's now build this circuit. Now that we're done on this circuit, let's now try to put them together. I didn't put the buzzer yet because that's too loud. So let's uh, see first how it will perform. I'm now done connecting the two circuits together. I will let you have a closer look. Okay, and this is the schematic. I just follow that, except that the buzzer is not yet connected here. Let's now see how it will behave by putting the power supply. The power supply is now connected. Let's turn it on. And now, let's put some flame here again. I want you to observe this LED. You see? It latch and it's not turning off once it detects the fire. Let's now reset it. Again, there you go. By the way, you can set the sensitivity of the sensor by adjusting this trimmer. Let's now put the buzzer. As you see, the buzzer is now connected. Let's put some fire. That's loud. Another one. I hope you find this video helpful and interesting. Please don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel. Thank you.